I'm back. So today's video, as you can see in the title, is five myths about college. I love these. So if you guys want to find out five myths about your freshman year, keep watching. So the first myth is that having your roommate sucks. Sharing space, especially if you've never done it before, will kind of suck. But for the most part, having a roommate actually keeps you disciplined and on top of your schoolwork. On top of that freshman year, it helps you settle in and get adjusted to your campus just a little more. Don't go into the mindset of college is going to suck because I'm going to have someone to live with and share this room with. Why can't I live alone? When you live alone, you'll probably be like, I want a roommate or someone to share the space with. So just enjoy the shared space while you can. Obviously, this is not for everyone. Some people may have a really bad experience with roommates. I know a lot of friends who have had to move around from dorm to dorm. Keep in mind that it could really help you discipline yourself and actually stay on top of your schoolwork. So <laughs> that's a myth. The second myth, which is very, very common, I'm sure every single one of you guys have heard this before or thought of it before, um, and that is that you have to be best friends with your roommate. False. Straight up false. I am hypocritical because I ended up getting very close to my roommate freshman year, but it's different for everyone. Do not go in with the mindset of you're going to be best friends with your roommate. It's probably not going to happen. You're probably going to end up either only being friends or sharing a space with this person that you live in. You know, you may not want to be best friends with someone you're going to see constantly. Sometimes keeping things casual with your roommate may be the best option because you will see this person at least 12 hours a day since you live with them. The third myth, my favorite myth, it's okay to skip class. No, it's not. Because one, you are paying for it somehow, whether it be financially, yourself, your parents, or if you have a full ride, you are paying for it with your time. So why not actually just go to class? If you do not want to go to class, do not go to college. By skipping a lot of class, you are actually wasting two of the most important things, your time and money. Why would you want to do that? There's a difference between being unable to go to class and willingly not going to class. I just want to make that very clear because some people do not know the difference. Being unable to go to class means that you are sick, you are in bed, you have some other commitment that you have to go to. Fair. Willingly skipping class, <laughs> that is being in bed, being like, I have five minutes to get to class. So I'm going to wait for those five minutes to pass. And once those five minutes have passed, you probably didn't get up. Force yourself to go up and go to that class. On top of that, missing class does put you behind on schoolwork and it does become a habit, you guys. So do not go down this hill blindly. It is a slippery slope and you don't wanna be slipping, so. The fourth myth about college is that you're only gonna be homesick in the beginning of the year. Now for me, I actually didn't get homesick until way later on in the semester because I was comfortable and adjusted by the time school started. I was ready to go. For everyone it's different. Homesickness comes at different times. It is never just the beginning of the year. As I just said, I didn't even experience it at first. You're going to feel sad and homesick throughout the year, whether you want to or not. And it's not a choice. It just happens. It's kind of like the flu. You catch it and then it goes away. And then sometimes it comes back. So yeah. So just be ready to miss home at any time of the year and it is completely natural and the likelihood of your friends going through it too is very high, which is why you have friends so that you guys can feel comfortable and happy. The last myth is that the freshman 15 is unavoidable. Don't tell me that your school does not have a gym. On top of that, the likelihood of you paying for the gym is very high too because it's probably included in your tuition. Take advantage of that. Just because there's junk food available doesn't mean that you should eat it all the time. I mean, I definitely snack a lot, so I'm not really practicing what I preach right now. But the reality is I do eat salads and I do eat fruit whenever I get the chance, so just try to eat healthy and stay as healthy as you possibly can because stress eating is real. Overall, just stay healthy. Don't let your schoolwork take over your life completely. That is not the point of college. I'm not saying you have to go to every single class. If you are actually sick, don't go to class. But just understand that you did make a commitment to go to the school. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Make the most of it. Have the best experience that you possibly can have and just enrich yourself and surround yourself with people that you love and trust. That's the most important thing about college. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, learned a little something. Just keep in mind that what I've said in this 
this video may completely check out for one person and be the complete opposite for another. So everyone is different and everyone's experiences will be different. It is college and each person is different. So keep that in your mind. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, like if you haven't subscribed yet, like she's right.